I've created the sketch of the second profile, so let's have a look at that. It took me a few minutes to do this one. It's a more difficult sketch and quite a few control points in there. So I started out by drawing a straight line, polyline, then the spline. Then I stopped, started to spline again, and that gave me that long sweeping curve for the roof. I also used the fillet a couple of times just to smooth some sharp edges out. So let's go ahead, turn off the visibility of that large cube. We'll hide that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the two profiles that I created first and extrude those. We know it's 200 millimeters. I'll just drag that along until I see 200, slightly negative 200 in this case. Press Enter. Select the other profile. This time, however, I have to make sure that it's an intersect. So when these two profiles come together, you can see that part's already disappeared. That's going to be 100 millimeters. It'll create a solid of what's intersecting. And there it is. So we can turn off the sketches. And that's the end result of those two sketches that I created. So by looking at that, you can determine if that's kind of what you want. Now, all is not lost if you decide that you actually want to do something else with the sketches or modify them just a little bit. You can go back and show sketches. You can delete the car that you just created. And you could modify your sketches until you get the shape that you want. So if first time around it's not quite what you want, just go in, modify the sketch, extrude them again, and off you go. I'm going to continue on with the one that I've got. Now that we have our profile, we want to round off those corners at the front and the back. The way to do that would be to show the solid, which was that first cube that we created. And then in the corners, that's using the projected uh, technology or workflow that we did before, in those corners, create a little round and then extrude that down and that'll cut off the corners of the car. I think mine's fine. I'm just going to continue on with that one as well. Well, it's not a very nice color. We're going to choose the color of our car. So I'm going to go in. I think a nice bright red glossy will work here. There we go. That looks pretty racy. There's many wheels, of course. We're coming to those just a little bit later. Lots of sharp edges as well. So what you want to do is fillet those edges. Let me show you an example. Now, in this case, I've selected those edges around the front. And I want them to be 5 millimeters. So let's try 5 and see what happens. In this case, it says incorrect uh, input type because that fillet's too large for that corner. So what you can do is just, we know that five's not going to work. You could try four or three. And you probably have to do this a couple of times to find that value that will actually work. Fillets can be a little awkward because they simply won't work in some areas. And three works. So you'll want to go around your whole model of your car and round off the corners with the fillet tool where you think is appropriate.